From the Chattahoochee Tech Studio, welcome to the Marietta Daily Journal podcast. Today is Saturday, January 21st, and happy 73rd birthday to singer Billy Ocean. I'm Dan Ratcliffe, and here are your top stories presented by Engineered Solutions of Georgia. A Marietta restaurant owner was charged with sexual assault of two employees. Mapleton opponents packed a town hall. And Walker High is named its new head football coach. We'll have all this and more coming up on the Marietta Daily Journal podcast. Engineered Solutions is your locally owned and operated commercial and residential foundation company that specializes in foundation repair, basement waterproofing, and crawl space encapsulation. I'm consumer investigator Dale Cardwell. I've done the research already, so you don't have to. Nicholas Tiliakos, the owner of Marietta's Come and Get It restaurant, has been charged with sexual assault against two employees. Both Cobb and Marietta police charged Tiliakos with multiple counts of sexual battery and cruelty to children against two individuals who worked at the restaurant. The alleged victims were underage at the time. The incidents allegedly occurred over the course of two years from 2020 to 2022, both at the restaurant and at Tiliakos' home in East Cobb. He's accused by one victim of groping them multiple times over the two-year period without their consent. Similar allegations of groping were made by a second victim who also alleged the incidents took place at both the restaurant and his home. It was unclear if the two alleged victims still worked at the restaurant. Tiliakos' attorney declined to comment on the case. He's out on $60,000 bond after he was charged in October. More than two months after voters cast ballots to create a new city of Mableton, hundreds of residents turned out to continue the fight against cityhood with a single-minded purpose. They want out. A standing room only audience of hundreds packed the Cobb County Police Academy on Wednesday night, demanding an exit ramp from the first Cobb City to be incorporated in more than 100 years. Some say they'd never known they were in the city limits until they showed up to vote. Others had simply assumed the proposal would fail, like its counterparts in East Cobb, Lost Mountain, and Vinings, until it didn't. Through the town hall, pacing the stage was State Representative David Wilkerson of Powder Springs, who derided the 78,000-strong Mableton as the largest HOA in Cobb County. Wilkerson has emerged as one of Mableton's fiercest critics since the city's referendum passed in November with 53% of the vote. Highlighting what he called open questions that remain after the referendum, he plans to introduce legislation this year to de-annex from the new city several precincts that voted no in the referendum. Options on the table could include a surgical de-annexation of areas that voted against cityhood, predominantly in the city's northeast, or a do-over of the election entirely. That latter option got some of the most spirited cheers of the night, but State Representative Sharon Cooper of East Cobb told the MDJ Thursday that lawmakers will likely want to hear from both sides of the issue before jumping to a legislative fix. Walker didn't have to look far to find its new football coach, promoting T.J. Anderson to lead the Wolverines program. Anderson has been at Walker for two years as associate head coach and offensive coordinator. Anderson has experience at all levels of football. A graduate of South Gwinnett High School, he was running back at Georgia Southern and was part of the Eagles' 2000 National Championship in what was then the NCAA's Division 1-2A. He also won three Southern Conference championships under coaches Paul Johnson and Mike Sewak. Anderson, who also played in the Arena Football League for two years, returned to Georgia Southern in 2018 to serve as director of high school relations under then-coach Chad Lunsford. He also has experience in high school as an assistant coach at Westminster, Mountain View, and Etowah. Anderson succeeds interim coach Tom Evangelista and becomes the fifth head coach since the beginning of the 2020 season. During that time, Walker has gone 3-25. and 25. No longer science fiction, the use of artificial intelligence to recognize and match faces to public images harvested from the internet is a reality the Cobb County Police Department wants people to understand and support. 
Members of Cobb Police spent two hours discussing the use of facial recognition technology and their new contract with Clearview AI, hoping to alleviate concerns and inform the 25 residents gathered for the District 3 Town Hall meeting Wednesday night at the Tim Lee Senior Center. Cobb Police Chief Stuart Van Hooser said the technology is secure and would only be used by law enforcement in a limited capacity, likening it to receiving an anonymous tip. The majority of the questions asked by the public dealt with fears of living in a surveillance state. It was mainly up to Cobb Police Captain Darren Hull of the Violent Crime Bureau to make the case for using the technology in a safe, secure manner to rapidly apprehend suspects. Hull repeatedly emphasized how the technology would not be abused and how guardrails would be in place. You deserve better than your bank. Better service, better rates, better solutions. If you live or work in Cobb County, now is the perfect time to make the switch to Credit Union of Georgia, the better way to bank. Since 1960, Credit Union of Georgia has been providing Northwest Georgia with financial solutions that make sense for your home, business, and family. As a homegrown, not-for-profit cooperative, our members are our mission. Not only will you get the best loan rates, you'll get personalized customer service from people who understand your needs. Plus, Credit Union of Georgia provides real convenience with a network of more than 30,000 accessible ATMs and branch locations across the country. Of course, there's also five locations right here in Cobb County. Ready to see how much better your banking can be with Credit Union of Georgia? Become a member today or apply for a loan online by visiting cuofga.org. Credit Union of Georgia, the better way to bank. Ted's Montana Grill is one of Cobb's best burgers. But in addition to burgers, they also have some great salads, steaks, chili, and a full bar selection. For your chance to win a $20 gift card to Ted's Montana Grill at the Avenue in West Cobb, email tedscontest at gmail.com today. That's tedscontest at gmail.com for your chance to win a $20 gift card from Ted's Montana Grill at the Avenue at West Cobb. Eh, the other side, he see. Ask me the questions, bridge keeper. I'm not afraid. The 150-year-old covered bridge on Concord Road in Smyrna has been reopened after it was once again hit by a vehicle and closed for repairs. Cobb DOT was repairing the protective beam of the bridge Friday morning. Concord Road has been reopened to hopefully height appropriate traffic, the county said on its Twitter. The bridge is fine. The historic covered bridge has been the site of crashes and closures that have grown too numerous to count, the most recent occurring in December. The bridge's low clearance, indicated by abundant signage around the bridge, is the cause of most of the accidents. Officials symbolically shoveled dirt downtown on Thursday afternoon to mark the start of a new $6 million amphitheater at Depot Park. Construction will begin February 1st and is scheduled to last 12 months. Kennesaw staff said that timeline is subject to adjustment if the project is hampered by weather or supply chain issues. Once complete, the amphitheater will hold between 1,500 and 2,000 people. The design calls for a 50-foot by 42-foot stage with turf grass terraces fanning out from there. The project also includes new restrooms and storage space and the renovation of the community house. The amphitheater will cap off a long-running eight-phase master plan for the park, which now boasts a playground, open play field, walking trail, picnic tables, and benches. Construction of Depot Park was funded by successive rounds of 1% SPLOST tax dollars. The amphitheater will be funded by the 2022 round of SPLOST, which began collecting revenue last January and will run through the end of 2027. Are you struggling to find the right home in these tough markets? Hi, I'm Jeffrey Drake of Drake Realty, with seven offices across Metro Atlanta and two right here in Cobb County. The real estate market in Cobb County can be competitive. That's why you need a team on your side. My team of over 700 agents is one of the biggest in the county, and we have been turning dreams into realities for 28 years now. Next time you decide to buy or sell in Cobb, trust the team that knows the lay of the land. Visit us online at drakerealty.com.
Thanks again for listening to today's Marietta Daily Journal podcast. Did you know over 50% of Americans listen to podcasts weekly? Make sure you join us for our next episode and share this podcast on social media with your friends and family. You can find us on TikTok at MDJ Podcast, add us to your Alexa Flash Briefing or Google Home Briefing, and be sure to like, follow, and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. This podcast is a production of BG Ad Group. Darren Sutherland, Executive Producer. Doug Harding, Creative Director. Jacob Sutherland, Director. Producers Jason Gentarola and Matt Golden. And Jin Rei Zhang, Video Producer. All rights reserved.